junior teams are always very, very close knit, but from uh, reading a book that you have written read, that's called Crossroads, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment, uh, the Humboldt Broncos team was very close. You were an assistant captain on that club, and there was nights where you would watch The Bachelor together, for example, and, and there, there must be some tremendous memories uh, from that team. There sure are tremendous memories, and we were a tight-knit group. I think that was one of the big things that separated us from other teams. Do you always, I think I look back and I've been fortunate to be a part of lots of great close knit teams and have that kind of culture. And those teams are winning teams. Those are ones that win championships together because you want to play for the person beside you, you want to play for the logo on your chest. You want to do anything in your power to win that game for everybody and to celebrate together and be together. It's a camaraderie. It's like a brotherhood. It's a family. And that was what we were. And I think it was something truly special. You know, the final junior hockey game you played was on April 4th, uh, two days before the accident against the Nippewan Hawks. It was a, a great game, uh, a game that went into multiple overtime periods. Uh, what do you remember about that game? <laughs> I remember how sore my legs were. <laughs> so I, it was probably the most memorable game of my life had it not even been the accident afterwards, like even just the fact of the game itself would have been the most memorable game thus far. But then now even more so since it was my last game of playing hockey, it was even that more memorable in our last game of the season too. But I just remember how intense it was and back and forth, we were down and then we were up and then down. And it was just, it was a wave, it was a roller coaster, it was a roller coaster of a game and I'm sure the fans loved it. They were into it. It was rowdy. It was an amazing time. Like I think that was such a fun game to play in. And I loved the triple overtime aspect because nobody wanted to make a mistake. And it was like the first team that made a mistake was kind of screwed. And so we were all being very smart with our plays and really not trying to risk it, but trying to risk it at the same time. I think that was super cool. I've never been able to play two games in one night. And so I can check that off my bucket list. Let's talk about uh, the day of the accident, April 6, 2018. Uh, that morning, uh, the team was together uh, at, at the Humboldt Arena, the Elgar Peterson Arena. Uh, what do you remember about that morning? It was just a typical morning. It was a normal game day. We had our backs against the wall. We were playing Nippon in the SJHL semifinals, and we were down 3-1 to one in the series but it honestly could have been three to one for us. At that time, we were like definitely confident in our abilities. We weren't too scared at all. We knew we had like leads and I guess it would have been two of the three games that we lost, we had leads in. So we knew, and then the third period was like five minutes left. So these weren't just like leads at the first period, they were leads at the end of the game. So we knew we had it in us to win that game and nip win and to come back to Elgar Pearson Arena for game six, it would have been, but, uh, we were just normal. We had our loose, we were ready to go, we were focused, we are having fun. And I think that's what you need, especially when your backs are against the wall, is to have that kind of loose, fun atmosphere and just treat it like another game, but know that it is still on the line too. And um, so yeah, we had just a normal game day skate. And all junior hockey players have been on, on buses, on road trips uh, many, many times, including you. It's a normal bus ride. You get on the bus. So what's happening on the bus that night before the crash? Typically, it was no different either. And I think that's the one of the things that like, I look back on and you think, what was different? But there really wasn't anything different. We were all doing the same things we always do. We are playing games, joking around. Some guys were playing cards at the front. I was listening to music. Um, people around me, some were sleeping, some were watching a movie on their iPad. It was just a typical bus. And uh, I ended up sitting down and I sat in 12th row and I had my roommate behind me and right kind of kitty corner to me and just sat in our normal spots. And that's what it, the beauty of it was, was it wasn't different than anything else. And uh, we knew that we had our backs against the wall, but we still treated it like it was a normal game day. And so what I like to do on the bus is I like to listen to music. I like to visualize. So that's what I normally do. I usually eat my pregame meal on the bus too. So I, I'll listen to music, eat my pregame meal, and then once I'm done that, I'll put on my suit and then sit down and visualize. And so that's what I did. I have a pregame meal. I put on my suit, sat down, and visualized. And then I end up closing my eyes, 
to put my head down and listen to music and then everything went black and I don't remember anything for the next four and a half days. <laughs>